In this episode of Cars Plus, we're going to cover something that is often needed when restoring a vehicle, a parts car. And this particular parts car is a 1938. We're going to show you how we know that in a little bit. This is a parts car for the 1939 Gram that we are doing for a customer. That's a Model 96. And as we're going to show you, this is also a Model 96 Gram from 1938, but we can interchange parts into 1939. Now, in going around the parts car, you'll see I'm wearing nitrile gloves because we already know that this car has been full of animals and who knows what. So I don't particularly want to touch it directly all the time without having something on my hands. Right here is one of the things that tells us that this is a 1938 car. This is the LOF bug for safety glass. And if you notice the date, it's 12037. This is a much earlier date than we would see on 39 vehicles. So this is 1938. Just if we went by what the glass is, it was unlikely that Graham would have held it for ages. As we come around the car, we're going to see that, of course, it's been in, this one came from a junkyard. It has had a lot of parts taken off of them, some of it in the car, but also some of the parts are gone because, of course, in junkyards, they tend to sell away parts of the car. And you can see a tremendous amount of it in the car here. Some of these parts are good, some of these parts are not good. We're looking at rear fender, for example, sitting in the seat. One of the things we're looking at with this car that's useful, believe it or not, there are parts of the interior still here that we can use because there are special clips that Graham used, these metal clips that hold the interior on, and we need more for the car we're working on right now. So you can see the metal clips that hold the door cards in place. We also are very interested in the fact, look at this rear door. It's very, very good. For an old door, it's in great shape. We're going to be using this door on the car we're restoring. We're going to show you why in a little later on in the video. Likewise, we have a very good front door. We're, on, of course, on the driver's side. Same thing is true here. This door is in tremendous shape, and here you can really see those clips that we're after. So the car is full of a whole bunch of these clips in good shape, and we're going to be pulling those clips and utilizing them. Now we're going to look here on the front floor in just a moment and see what that looks like. I'm going to move some of the stuff out of the way. There's a reason we're going to be interested in this area. So we'll take this. Here's a piece of window glass that one could pattern off of. But what I'm really interested in is seeing what the floor condition is like. We can see we've got original carpet down in here and things are quite dirty, but there is a little area here where it is worn out. However, we can also see if we move the dirt aside, hence reason for the gloves, that a lot of this has some fairly solid floor. Some of this we might be able to use in our other vehicle. We can also tell right here that we have a 38 car for this reason. Notice your steering column. There is a area down at the bottom. If we bring the camera in, look at the bottom of the steering column in here. And as you look at the bottom of the steering column, down by the floor, you'll see there's a hole in there. And that hole indicates that we are a 38 because we don't have the special double hole set up for a 39 with a column shift. So this is a 38 if we looked at it from that standpoint, but you could get the floor shift in the 39. So we're going to show you more reasons we believe this to be a 38 as we go around. And let's continue forward on the car now. We do know this is not a fancy version of the car. This is not a custom car. We have the plain basic steering wheel in here. We can tell on the dash in the center, there was once a radio in this car. There you have the grill assembly for the car sitting in the front seat. We also have some trim pieces and headlight pieces in here too. As we come forward on the car, 
we're going to see that there are a lot of changes that people made to keep this car on the road. One, they added a different battery box. This was never the battery box in a gram, but it's added in here so that somebody could have a different battery. One of the most important parts though is we have a dust shield over here on the side, passenger side. That's the correct dust shield we've been looking for for a non-supercharged car. We're gonna be removing that and using it. We will also make drawings of it because we have a car in the future we're gonna do that needs one of those in addition to this vehicle. Here we have the front of the car and you can see they've radically modified it at some point and welded in so that they could have different round headlights. This was done because they probably didn't have lenses that were good anymore, so they switched them to round. We've seen this done to cars before, but these fenders are in such good shape, you could remove this and you could restore the Graham fender easily enough. This is part of a fender from something else that's been mounted inside, plus a top piece. Down here on the bottom, missing from our 39 car are these filler strips. We've got two of them on the car here. We're going to be removing those and using them as part of our work to put filler strips on the 39 car we're working on. As we come down and look at the passenger side of the car, we've already shown you that dust shield that's very useful. Over here you can see what we didn't talk about on the other side, but you can see we have running boards. That could still mean it would be a 39 because you could order them, but it's most likely a 38. Remember we talked about the window glass that tells us pretty much. But now we're gonna to try to get in the back of the car here. And it looks like I'm gonna to have to get something to remove this. And as soon as we remove it, we're gonna look on the rear floor and see what its body and chassis numbers are. Here we have the data plates. I've been wiping them off with a damp towel. And what we can particularly catch real quick, this is a 388. That's the color number, 388. That tells us for sure this is a 1938. Here we have our chassis number, our motor number, and the motor is obviously missing from the car. And this is our body number. These are two original plates in the car. So as I surmise, this is a 1938 model 96 gram. We have a 39, the parts will interchange just fine. So there it is, proof a 38.8. Now also in each of the doors, we have door jam pieces on a gram car. The lower ones in most of these doors we're particularly interested in because we have bad ones on the 39 we have that are so rotted. Now I've noticed the driver's side, some of that's rotted, that's pretty common, but we'll have some better ones here that we can use for our 39 restoration and save a bunch of body work. A couple cases we'll still have to fix things, but that will be much better than having to fix all of the lower door jam pieces. Now let's work around to the back of the car and take a quick look there at what's in the trunk. As we come along the back here, we're going to find that our trunk has been quite damaged. Trunk handle is not good. If we needed a license plate holder, we had that, but we already have a good one. You notice I can't bring it all the way up. There is something in the trunk well preventing it. But of all things, in the back of this car, here we have sitting a 1940-style grill, complete with extra trim pieces on it. And that's rather a nice find to have, a 1940 grill with extra trim pieces on it. And you can see them all here. So there you see, in general, what this parts car looks like. Now we're going to show you in a couple places on the 39 why we were so interested in some of the parts here. For those who may have not caught it or seen it in one of the other videos on the 39 gram we're doing, you can see, for example, here, all this damage in this door, of course this could all be fixed, but if we can just switch out the door, which is what we're going to do with that parts car, then we don't have to spend a bunch of time fixing something that's all roughed up like that. But that's not the only problem with the doors on the driver's side. When we look at this particular door up front, it looks really nice and wonderful. And you think, hey, there's nothing wrong with that. But if you were to go along and figure out what's going on on the bottom of this door, inside you can somewhat see it, but 
This has a tremendous amount of filler that we already know that's in here. So we know the bottom of this particular door is damaged. So we're going to probably switch out that door for the front door on the other car. Now one other thing that we know that is going on, as we were saying, is all the door jam pieces, which are currently removed from the car, in this car, every one of the lower door jam pieces was shot. In the parts car, a number of the door jam pieces are usable. In this car, we have floor problems that we have to fix. In the other car, hopefully we'll be able to use a section here to fix this area. Now we know I saw some rot in this area, but here's a section we can probably get. And this particular item hopefully is good in the other car. And we could just switch them out and not have to go to as much work on doing the floor in that particular area. Often, when you're doing a car such as a Graham, which is an esoteric make, even when it was new, definitely esoteric nowadays, parts cars can be useful and quite helpful. Many things can be replicated, but that takes time and hence means money. Sometimes it's better just to find another car that has those parts, like we showed you those metal clips, for example, which are very, very hard to find. We've only seen them on Grams. It pays, it really behooves you to search out and find a parts car. What we'll be doing in the near future is removing all the parts we think we can use from the parts car, and then it's going to be picked up by the owner and head back east.